Hey garden nerds, let's talk about basil. It's the quintessential summer herb. It's an annual, which means that it lives out its life cycle in a season and then sends up flower stalks, bolts to seed, and then dies. I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd. Today, I wanna to talk to you about this crazy idea about pinching basil, because not everybody gets it right. First step, let's talk about the act of pinching basil. It is supposed to serve two functions. First of all, it stops the plant from bolting to seed, which can often change the leaf flavor to something a lot more pungent and bitter that you don't really want. Secondly, and this is the part that people often don't realize, is that it, if you pinch it in the right place, it changes the plant's energy, um, chemical energy of where it's sending energy and it will start to produce more leaves. And the reason why I say if you do it right, because most of the time in gardening books, the way pinching basil is described is only serving one of those two functions. So let's break it down. First up, let's take a close up look at how basil grows. It has a main stem and then it has leaves and in between the main stem and those leaves, as you can see here, it makes two little baby sets of leaves in each corner at each junction. And then it continues up the main stem and does the exact same thing 90 degrees opposite and so on and so forth. Most of the time when you see instructions for pinching basil, they're talking, they're encouraging you to just go to the very tip of the basil and pinch off the seed stalk that has formed. Not so much. All that does is stop the seeds from producing, but it does nothing to encourage new growth. Let's break that part down. If you look here, you can see I've got stem, this main stem, and on either sides of the main stem are two leaves. And then in, at the junction of the main stem and those two leaves are two more sets of leaves that are growing from it. When you pinch basil, the idea in order to encourage growth is to pinch right above those new sets of leaves because that's gonna trigger them to grow and it's gonna make you a bushier, more vibrant plant. So you can easily pinch back in a number of places. Let's take a look at that. On this branch, I could choose to pinch back right here at the top or down here, right above these two sets of leaves or down here, as low as here, right above these two sets of leaves. <laughs> hey, Mittens, look who's here. Mittens is here, everybody. Hi, come on in. Somebody called you obese, which is ridiculous. Anyway, so you can see how just pinching off those little flowers forming at the top doesn't help you with the second part, which is making more basil. I wanted to set the record straight so you can enjoy more basil this summer. It's important also to remember that basil is an annual, which means it is going to die at some point. At some point, the flowers will overtake you. You won't be able to keep them at bay and you'll have very few leaves left on the plant. That's okay. It's natural. It's what basil is supposed to do. So it's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. So that's it. For more information on growing your own food and fabulous herbs like basil, go to gardennerd.com and be sure to check out my book on growing vegetables, Gardening for Geeks. If you want help about growing fruit, check out my new book, Grow Your Own Mini Fruit Garden. And of course, consider becoming a Patreon subscriber to support all the free stuff that we do here at Garden Nerd. Happy gardening.